Hi, I'm Ravant. This is part one of a WCF video series. In this session, we will discuss introduction to WCF. So let's begin the tutorial. Introduction to WCF. WCF stands for Windows Communication Foundation. So WCF is developed by Microsoft. It is a Microsoft platform. It is developed under .NET Framework 3.0. WCF is mainly used for building the distributed and interoperable applications. So what is this distributed and interoperable applications? Distributed means each computer in the network runs one or more of these components which perform different tasks. That means WCF supports different protocols, HTTP protocol, TCP protocol. So based upon the type of request, it will perform one or more different tasks. We will discuss more details while uh, we do programming. Next, interoperable. Interoperable means an application that can communicate with uh, any other applications built on any platform. So the consumed web service or a WCF service built on any platform, it will communicate with a plain XML message format. X both the web service and the WCF services are interoperable. So we have web services, but we get some doubt in our mind, like why we required WCF services. This is because web services does not support distributed applications. What this distributed means here, when we look at the picture, client one wants a protocol should be HTTP protocol and a message format should be XML message format. In order to satisfy this client one, we have to develop the service in a .NET web service. When we look at the client two, he wants the protocol should be TCP protocol and the communication should be in the form of binary message format. So in order to satisfy this second client, we have to develop the service in a .NET remoting service. This is a this both the service has architecture and the way of programming is quite different. So Microsoft has thought that in order to reduce the redundancy between this both .NET web service and the .NET remoting service, Microsoft has thought to develop one common service for both of these technologies and came up with uh, the service called WCF in the .NET framework 3.0. So now we have WCF service. So how to connect to two different protocols, either two or more than protocols like HTTP protocol, TCP protocol. All these protocols can be defined in the configuration file and the client can connect to the relevant endpoint. So through these endpoints, client can able to connect to the relevant protocols. All these endpoints are defined in the configuration file of WCF. We will discuss more detail how to define endpoints in the configuration file while we do programming in the latter video sessions. WCF supported protocols are HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol, TCP Transmission Control Protocol, MSMQ Message Queuing, and named pipes. Few important points are what services are there before WCF? Before WCF, there is enterprise library services or it is also called component object model, COM complex, .NET remoting and web services. What is the type of extension for WCF? Is .svc. WCFs are uh, most prominent, uh, provide better reliability and security as compared to ASMX web services. In next video, we will discuss differences between web service and a WCF in depth. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. For any queries and uh, support, contact uh, .netravent at the rate of gmail.com.